Andy, we'll start with you. Have the Mets changed course with their pursuit of Chris Bryant, perhaps? As far as Chris Bryant goes, I don't know if they've changed course. I, I don't think I would call it that. I just think that they've uh, kept uh, up with the course uh, more than I previously, we had previously realized until uh, I realized otherwise that those talks between the Mets and Bryant, which were fairly brief early in the offseason, uh, we reported on January 6th that they had been dead for quite a while. And that was what we understood uh, since then. Uh, turns out that there have been talks since. It's not necessarily dead. Before everybody gets too excited, uh, my information is that the Cubs are still pretty reluctant to move Bryant before opening day. Jim Duquette has said more likely at the trade deadline. And that's what, what we continue to hear. Uh, but look, there was nothing doing with the Mets and Bryant as far as we knew. And now there's something of some sort doing. So let's put our marker down on the ground on that and say, we talked about this. If the deal gets done, I was on BNNY. We discussed it. Didn't, didn't catch us out of nowhere. Hannah, do you think the Mets need to pursue Chris Bryant or are you cool with J.D. Davis over at third? I like the idea of a trade deadline move possibly because look, if the, if the Cubs are looking to unload Chris Bryant, the Mets should jump all over that. They're trying to be World Series contenders in a competitive division, and they should get better where they can, when they can. They have the payroll room to do that. They're not that close to the luxury tax, if that's sort of a prohibitive thing. But I don't think that you can't give J.D. Davis the chance to sort of prove himself. He's a player who's shown that he's capable of making adjustments at the major league level. He did that offensively. Maybe he can do that defensively don't think he's really a championship caliber defensive player but look if they want to move him, if they want to move Brian at the trade deadline maybe we have a few months to see what JD Davis looks like so sort of maybe he got better in the offseason when you talk about bringing in a guy like Chris Bryant yes would he be an immediate upgrade I think so uh, defensively he's been a better third baseman his entire career he could also and I talk about this a lot versatility he can play the outfield and he's actually a pretty decent outfielder as well so when you look at those things and the fact that he can bring a lot offensively outside of last year he was borderline terrible last year but he didn't play most of the season he was hurt a lot uh, but look he can bring a lot to this team so I get that and I understand why you would be exploring this and to me more than anything this might be you're keeping in touch and you go into the season with JD things may do or don't fall apart, whatever happens at the trade deadline, as Hannah said, now you've had those discussions. You can pick right up and get this thing done really fast and bring Brian in if you want to. Yeah, and I like that, uh, you know, to Hannah's point, you give J.D. Davis half a season potentially to play third base every day, and you see if that the struggles he's had mostly with the arm uh, have improved since uh, he did struggle defensively at third base.